everyone um, on this video i'm gonna help you on how to calculate work okay the first thing the formula for calculating work you get it in your formula sheet under the section work energy and power so work is calculated with a uh, force change in displacement and cost theta i'm gonna start by explaining the formula before i do the example that i have for you so work you multiply the force and the displacement the force that is applied on that object and the displacement the movement that has happened now this theta is the angle between the movement and the force the ex example that we'll be having now will show you how um how do we use this theta okay let's look at the example now we have an example here a 50 kilogram crate is pulled for 40 meters across the horizontal floor by applying a constant force of 100 newtons to it. This force forms an angle of 37 degrees to the horizontal. The floor is rough and exact a frictional force of 50 newtons on the crate. Okay, the first question, you're supposed to draw a free body diagram. Let's look at how we do that. But before we draw a free body diagram, it helps to have your own diagram. If in the question paper, they didn't draw a diagram for you. You see, now this is the 50 kilogram crate. It is pulled along this way for 400 um, meters. And then now it's there. But this floor is rough. So it has friction. So our friction frictional force you can write it like that it's 50 newtons but we have the applied force this force that they are pulling with with the applied force is 100 newtons but now what about the applied force the applied force is not pulled straight like that horizontally it's pulled at the angle the horizontal plane and that angle of the force is 37 degrees that's where we get the theta. This theta is the angle between the force and the, 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 the horizontal plane, the displacement. The displacement and the force. So that's the 37 degrees. Now, for this question, the first one, they say we must draw a free body diagram. A free body diagram, as the word says, it's a free body. It doesn't have, so you draw a dot. You draw a dot like that. And then you draw all the forces that are applied on this object. You use a ruler. I think I'll draw my free body diagram here. That's a dot. Then you use a ruler. The force, there will always be gravitational force that's pulling the, the object down. Your arrow touches the dot and then goes down. And then you write an arrow like this. And then you tell us which force is this one. This is the gravitational force. It's always pulling down. And then when you put a object on a flat surface, like on this table, like they are pulling it on the horizontal, there's a normal force. That's why the box doesn't go under the floor. There's a normal force. And the normal force is always push, pushing up. These arrows are telling us the direction of the force. Right? And then you have frictional force. Frictional force is always the opposite direction of the motion. This crate is pulled that way. So it means frictional force is going that way. Then this is our frictional force. Then the applied force is, is at the angle. My applied force will be like that. And is force applied. So this is how you do your free body diagram. Okay, let's look at the next question. Um, with a science question, it becomes better when you write what you are given. So you remember, we had applied force, but our applied force was 100 Newton. But it was not horizontally. It had this angle. Cause then the angle, that angle, this one, is the angle between the horizontal and the force so it's 37 then we have the frictional force now with a um, force is a vector so it has direction so if the applied force is going that way 
it means the frictional force is going in the opposite direction. That's why it will be negative 50 newtons. Right? Now the question says you calculate the network. So if you calculate the network, you we must find the net force first. What is the net force? The net force is adding all the forces that are applied on the object. Now, the force, you remember on the on our um, free body diagram, we have gravitational force and we had normal force. But both those forces are at 90 degrees like this. It was pulled like that. So the normal force was going up like that and the gravitational force was going. So the movement is at 90 degrees. The movement of the object and the normal force is at 90 degrees. The movement of the object and the um, gravitational force is at 90 degrees. Now, cos 90 degrees, it's zero. So these forces will not be added to the network because when you calculate them, because of the 90 degrees, they become zero. The work becomes zero. Remember, the work is the force, displacement, and cos angle. So this angle will be 90. Cos 90 is zero. Then the whole thing will be zero. That's why you don't add those two when you do the network. First way of calculating the network, you, the easier way, is to calculate the net force. The net force, I'm going to add all the forces. I have the applied force, which is opposite the direction of the frictional force, right? But my applied force was at the angle, so I need to calculate that first. So I'll have 100 multiplied by cos 37. So my, my applied force is 79,86 newtons. Right, so my network is applied force 79,86 minus my frictional force is 50 newtons. And you don't have to write the units, you can only write the units. You have to write the units in your answer, no units, no max. 0 0.86 newtons. This is my net force the combination of all the forces so when i calculate network is equals to net force that formula change in displacement cause theta 29.86 change in displacement it's 40 then cause theta you remember We've already sorted out the angle. Then this force, we have calculated it to be like that. So the, my, my cos, it will be cos zero here, degrees. Then I have times 40 times cos zero degrees is 1194,54. Very important. What is the units for work? Work has the same units as energy is joules. This is one way of doing it. Let me show you the other way. Another way of calculating network, you can calculate each work done by each force and then add them together. So the first one will do the work done by the frictional force. So it means our force is frictional change in displacement cos theta our frictional force is 50 newtons change in displacement is 40 meters then cos the the, the the crate is going that way frictional force is always in the opposite direction so that's that in opposite direction so the angle that is formed between the two is 180 so 50 times 40 times cos 180, we get negative 2,000 joules. 
And now we calculate the, f the, the work done by applied force. So I'll have applied force here, change in displacement, cos theta. My applied force is 100 newtons. My displacement is 40. And do you remember the angle is 86 degrees? So I have 100 times 40 times cos 37. And I have 3194.54 joules. Okay. So the, the, the network, the combination of all the work, 3194.54 minus 2000 is equals to 3194.54 minus 2 is equals to 1194.54. Jews. So these are the two methods that you can use. You can choose the one that works best for you and, and, and use it. And this is the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching.